Um, I am planning to design in the, uh, the little RC car with the fuel set on it with my... And as I said before, uh, I'm working with Jackie and together we are putting together a RC car that's going to be powered by a hydrogen fuel cell rather than a conventional battery. Before we got our hydrogen fuel cell is we measured the current and voltage output of our RC car using a manometer. Uh, we found that the output of it is 6 volts and 2 amps. So from there, we went to a manufacturer and requested a hydrogen fuel cell that can output exactly what our, our RC car assembly of the actual RC car. Now, the first thing that we've got to do is, of course, take the actual battery out. That way you understand that we are not powering this by battery, we are powering this by the hydrogen fuel cell. Now from here, we are going to connect up the positive and negative wires that are going to be connected to our hydrogen fuel cell. That's going to be transferring all the voltage and current to our system. Now next, we're going to apply a cushion below, um, that's going to be below the actual fuel cell. That way all the wires that you see here are not going to get damaged by just the, the weight of the fuel cell itself, which isn't much. Now from here, we're going to uh, put our hydrogen fuel cell on top of it and zip lock, or zip tie rather, it down to the RC car. To connect our, our six or nine volt battery that's going to be used for our wireless camera, which is going to be connected wirelessly to a router that's going to be connected to a television, which will allow us to see first person what the car is looking at. So I'm going to place that right here. and not in the way of where the hydrogen is going to be entering into the fuel cell. Next, we'll apply the chassis onto the RC car, as you can see. wireless camera to the battery and connecting the pressure regulator to the hydrogen fuel cell, we're now going to attach the hydrogen fuel tank, which contains hydrogen, to our RC car. And as you can notice, right now there's a fan on top that is not rotating. After I attach this, you see now it's rotating and the hydrogen fuel cell is now active. This concludes the assembly of our RC car that is powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. Okay. Fuel cell is connected to the car and the fan is running and here is the tank that we attached onto it. And just to, sh to show that this is being powered by only the hydrogen fuel cell, as you can see there is no battery right here connected to it. So this is specifically independent. It's all working off of just the fuel cell. So now, we will test it, just to show that this thing does work. So as you can see, completely mobile. 
plenty of power. I'm very fond of that has done successfully. I want to say a special thank you to Dr. Walter from Mr. Sander for finding us. Um, Dr. Mary Nazamia and Guha from Airdust Technology for finding us. Um, Mr. Michael Strait and your Ellis from your stockroom for refilling process. And Dr. Ho Michael Holton and our lab teacher, Faith Francis, for helping us calculate all